So this is my peg for today at Moat Park Maidstone to get some bream. As you can see it's a lovely water. What I'm showing you is probably about a fifth of the sides of the lake, if not less than that. It is a really, really big natural venue. <laughs> really big natural venue. Got these nice wooden platforms that like we're used to on the commercials. You can see them all over there. Welcome to another session of All Tackled Up TV. Here up today I'm doing a little bit different from my normal commercial carp stuff. I've gone back to my roots, I'm going to do a bit of bream fishing and I'm here at Moat Park in Maystone in Kent. Um, it's a really, really, really big old lake um, full of um, bream, roach, perch, some big, big carp. Um, that's why in a minute I'll let you know why the baits I've chosen because of that, because a lot of the fish meal baits are going in, boilies, um, and that's why I'm going to choose the baits I've got with me today. So my target is the bream today, it's about 15, 16 degrees, um, fortunately the wind's blowing a little bit out of the peg, um, but it's always good to have a bit of chop on the water and it's nice and overcast, so for bream, hopefully we'll get a few pulls. So guys, my baits for today, I'm going to be fishing a 50-50 mix um, of the ringers bag up mix and the ringers dark, and with this I'm going to go a bit um, modern with it basically um, and fish the Guru XA for a hybrid with micro pellets as well um, basically just because so much fish meal goes in here I'm pretty confident with that presentation I've caught a lot of skimmers and bream on commercials like that um, but I have also got some normal cage feeders if I feel I need to switch hook baits Hook bait wise, it's going to be, I've got a little from Ringers, new pink mini wafter, uh, and I've got the bigger size and the old faithful sweet call. They are my baits for today, and let's hopefully they'll do the business. Thank you for watching, guys. This is the dry mix. As you can see, it's got like a greeny beige colour mix. That's the two ground baits mixed together, and I'll show you when it's wetted up in a minute. That's the wetted mix for the riddle. Lovely fine texture and it stinks of fish. Lovely. This is what I'm gonna be putting out in a big bait up guru feeder. So we've got two mil pellets, bit of corn, the ground bait, and I've put a few cheeky little boily crush ringer pieces in there as well, just for a bit of added attraction. May hopefully do something, you never know, but it's worth a gamble. Bait using the Guru. We're going to introduce some bait using the bait up feeder by Guru just to get some food down so they can get their heads down. So it's just a case filling that feeder up. I've already clipped up where I want to be. Make sure I'm going to tangle in the tip. That's between six and eight foot deep. Give it a little shake. Bring it in. Do it again. Bream number one in the bag. Happy days. Use your hands and just wait. And when these fish do rock up, if you do get them, they will pull the rod round. It won't be little taps, it will be a proper round. 
they've won so far in the first hour, so hopefully we'll get a few more. These are my hook bait selection. It's an, another variation of the mix. 30% two mils and ringers dark green with the net with the natural bag up carp. Fish on.
the slab. Here you go guys, this is the sort of thing you come to Moe Park for. Proper slabs. Happy days. There you go guys, we've had 15 brink today, as you can see the average stamp's been about this sort of size I'll show you. There we go, proper fish, happy days, so I'm at a day. It's the 50% 50 ba 50 bag up mix, 50% dark, ringers dark, and then some ringers method 2 mil pellets. That's what's brought me the fish today. We're switching between a corn and a mini pink, sorry, a pink wafter by ringers. Hi guys, I had, a, had an absolutely brilliant day at Mo Park today. I've caught, I think there's 14 or 15 bream. Um, most of them, at least at least five and a half six pound um some really quality fish that i've caught on more so commercial tactics um the method feeder ground bait micro pellets um i'm going to do part two to this video where i'm going to put do do one rod natural uh, and one rod commercial just to see um what happens really just out of interest um, and i might even do a third part in the series as well um, I'm really enjoying being back on natural waters um, and, ca and catching one of my favourite species which is bream. Not everyone's favourite um, but I really enjoy them. I enjoy the, the challenge of trying to catch them in such a big open water. Uh, I've fished at about 40 metres today, might have been just slightly more. Um, note to self, one thing I'm going to get myself um, after watching a few videos um, is a set of measuring sticks. I really can see uh, the use of these, especially if you crack off. Um, which I did today um, and I had to go by the old school way of counting turns roughly but I will never know if I was exactly where I was. Um, just wanted to really talk you through so guys just wanted to show you the setup really um, the rod I was using uh, was a 12 foot dower TDR um, really nice rod it's got a lovely soft plan action at the top um, builds a bit of power in the middle and it's got plenty of grunt as you get down towards the handle for, for that real casting. Um, casts like a dart, it's really nice and straight, um, hit, hit the clip and it absorbs it nicely and you can just feather it in once you're on the clip. Um, as I said I love this rod, I was using I think it was a one or one and a half ounce tip today, um, I was chucking um, Guru Method feeders and Guru Hybrid feeders. Um, I did start to stay on the Guru hybrid feeder and something I've been doing more is using ground bait in them. I know a lot of people when you watch videos, um, they're primarily using uh, two mil pellets and bits and pieces like that. Um, but I've started to use more ground bait and ground bait mix with pellet. Um, it might be just a coincidence but I, I think it's bringing me a few more fish, I feel more confident that my bait is definitely getting to the just where that ground bait is binding those pellets. I mean, the hybrids, as you've seen, if you've watched any underwater videos with these, um, they generally, it does look like it holds well anyway, um, and then it hits the bottom and the little air holes allow it to disperse and open like a bait parcel for you with your wafter dangling enticingly in between it. Um, but I just, it's just giving me a little bit more confidence, and especially when you're fishing on a, on a big open water like Moat Park, one of my local venues, it's a big, big old school park lake, 
Um, and it, just for me, like most people, in your fishing, if you've got that little bit more confidence, 15, 20% extra, it can just make you believe that if you keep doing what you're doing, and then you're in the right area and the fish are gonna come, that you will get bites and, and you will get a decent net of fish. And, and to say I'm chuffed for my first time back in there a long time to catch what I've had today, in I think it was about three and a half hours fishing, I'm not, I'm made up, seriously guys, I'm made up. Um, so going back to the rod of choice, it was, as I said, the Dow 12 foot TDR, one, and a, one to one and a half ounce tip is what I was using today. Uh, real line was Guru Pulse eight pound. Some people might think it's a bit heavy, um, but I really like this line. It goes really through, cleanly through the rings. Um, pick up, it pick up's nice. Don't seem to get any curling happen. I know a lot of that can be how you put it on your, load it onto your spool anyway, but very, very clean um, on and off the spool. Um, really like this line. I've never really had any breaks on it, unless it's just me wrapping around the tip or doing something stupid. Um, to this, I've been using a four inch method hook length, um, QM14, uh, I think it was from memory, QM114. I uh, really like this hook and I think that was to 017 I was using. Again, some people might think it's a bit heavy, um, but I might even step up to a 12 if I needed to because as I say, this place does old fish in excess of double figures. Um, I've heard of 12, 13, 14 pound fish. Uh, I've personally had uh, just under 11 pounder out of here quite a few years ago now. Um, and I'm hoping to go back um, in the next couple of weeks, as I say, do a couple more videos, and you never know if I'm really, really lucky, fingers crossed, I might get one of the proper bin lids out. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly show you um, the, the setup I had, um, and then we've... So I'm just gonna quickly show you the setup close up, just a method, it's pretty similar to what most people use. Um, and then, obviously, I'll tell you a bit more about what's coming up with, with my channel. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the videos guys and please 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 if you can it's only worth me doing this if you guys are subscribing and telling your friends um, I know I can't bash out loads and loads of videos like some of the big companies um, but p please trust me I am trying to put some good stuff together for the future so please keep supporting All Tackled Up I'm going to focus more on doing some blogs and stuff on Facebook probably may come away from the website side of things and focus really on these videos blogs video blogs um, to give you the, the best insight I can into my own fishing and, and, and stuff I like to do. So thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. Tight lines. So guys, as I said, this is my weapon of choice that I fished with today. It's the TDR 12 foot competition. It's a lovely rod, real pencil slim blank. Um, loads of power, bottom and middle, and a lovely forgiving top half, which is perfect for your bream. You don't want anything too poker stiff for bream, because um, they do really nod their head quite a lot, and there is a habit that they will pull, pull up, pull out, pull out of that hook hold. Um, real choice. Um, Pretty mainstay for me, I've got real faith in these bad boys. Um, Dower TDR 4012A, um, I'm just about to upgrade to a couple of QD um, quick drag um, new TDR 19s as well, or 18s I think they're called, apologies. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting those and giving those a whirl. Um, loaded up with, to say, the Guru 8 pound pulse, and this basically is my setup. So, standard loop to a quick safe white hydroelastic. X safe feeder, which I was using in the mould um, with the different ground bait and the ground bait and pellet mixes today, and then just a ringer's either 6mm or 8mm little waft the hook bait on the QM14. Um, I will show you up a bit closer. Um, only difference to me other rig was obviously I was switching and later on started to use and I had more bites on was the hybrid feeder with the 50 50 mix, um, sorry, 60 40 mix of, of, of pellet and ground bait. Um, and obviously I'll show you some other steel pictures of that as well. Um, but yeah, this, this was basically the rig, um, and I did also have several fish on a nice grain of corn as well on a quick stop. That was the only difference in the, in the two rigs. 
um, and that was using an MWG hook, um, another hook I'm really um, a strong believer in for feeder fishing. So I'll just show you this up close. So here you go guys, this is the rig. So I've got me eight pound pulse main line, Guru X-Safe method feeder. This is the one, this is the 24 gram. I did go up to 36, just with the wind got a little bit stronger, just to make sure I was hitting my mark. And you can see this one's a bit broken, but that's a ringer's wafter in pink. As, as you see by the video as well, earlier on, I was using a little pink Borley Crush mixed in there as a little extra additive. And there's the old Faithful QM1 size 14 hook. Pucker hook that is. And then obviously the white hydroelastic stem running through the feeder. As I say, the only other feeder I used was the Guru Hybrid in the same weight capacities, which I'll show you in a moment. Thank you for watching, guys. Here you go, guys. That's my other setup. And that's using the 30 gram hybrid 017 MWG 14 quick stop. And that's what I was using for the corn with the same white hydro internal stem.